So the FDA put out uh, some information about what they're surveying for those of you who are going to be taking the vaccine. Um, <laughs> some of these are quite interesting. Um, it says FDA safety surveillance for the cough vaccine. It says draft working lists of possible adverse event outcomes. And of course, this is subject to change as people will start mutating. One of the side effects of a potential vaccine, of course, is the Guillain-Barre or the Guillain-Barre syndrome. And one of the, uh, the one from AstraZeneca actually got halted. Um, AstraZeneca, where was it here? Ended up getting during, this was back during September, uh, because some of them were having neurological symptoms. And then, of course, some of the volunteers for the Pfizer, uh, the, the Pfizer vaccine, it says, also developed uh, Bell's palsy. <laughs> this is, but FDA denies that the tryout, that the temporary facial paralysis was caused by the shot. It's like nothing to see here, people. Just keep moving. Don't worry about it. Next. <laughs> like, who's next in line? Oh, man, where was I? So, yeah, so looking at the, uh, where was I? Here we go. Looking at the article, of course, of what is next on the list. This is acute, acute disseminated, uh, oh my God, what is this? Encephalomyelitis. Transverse myelitis. And so you have things like <clears throat> encephalitis, myelitis, encephal encephalomyelitis, uh, meningocephalitis, and of course, meningitis. And, and, and encephalopathy and this is just basically stuff having to do with like inflammation of the brain and of the spinal cord convulsions and seizures stroke narcolepsy and cataplexia anaphylaxis which is just you just go straight into an allergic reaction uh, acute myocardial infarct so you have the potential for having a heart attack myocarditis pericarditis which is basically an inflammation of uh, the, the, the cardiac sac. You have autoimmune disease, which is <laughs> death, <laughs> pregnancy, and uh, birth outcomes. And basically that means like birth defects, because if you actually looked at the, the vaccine, when it asks questions, <clears throat> when it asks questions about like, obviously like long-term effects, uh, birth defects, like what do women develop like, um, like if they're going to breastfeeding, et cetera, like they could pass on stuff, you know, to their kids, children, of course, born with birth defects, um, you know, obviously because it hasn't been tested, there are no, no information, right? So it's just, you're just basically rolling the dice. If you're going to have any sort of problems for a lot of you women who are thinking of having a baby, if you're lucky to find a man in America who's willing to, to do that. Uh, if you of course if of course you have taken the vaccine because there are no because there's no information available because they haven't tested it you run the risk of of course having birth defects other acute uh myelinating disease non anaphylactic allergic reactions you have thrombocytopenia which is um i believe like uh not enough clotting factors in the body so you can have issues with clotting um, disseminated intra, uh, intravascular coagulation. You've got venous thrombo thromboembolisms, which is just basically uh, clots forming within the venous within your va uh, the, the the venous part of the vascular system. You could develop things like arthritis or <coughs> excuse me, arthralgia, joint pain. You've got Kawasaki's disease. Uh, multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. So good luck for you people rolling the dice on your kids. And of course, uh, vaccine enhanced <laughs> disease. And so I'll leave a link for those who want uh, an enjoyable read of what you have to look forward to and what you should keep on the watch and what the Food Drug uh, Administration is basically keeping on the watch for individuals, of course, who are going to be taking the vaccine for the cough. Just a little tidbit, right? Just a little light reading. If you want to take a look at this, I'll leave a link down in the description. I swear, man, some of y'all. Good luck.